that the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. I try to sad and hurt my bone. But the joy of the Lord is our strength. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Lord, we have a special prayer for Brother Charles Ball, Lord, on the job. Touch his toe, Lord. Be with him, God. You the healer. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, his friend, Lord, he called in. Concerning his earnest, Lord, a triple uh, that got in that accident, God. God, you can take that situation and turn it around for his friend and let him be healed. Raise him back up again for your glory, for your honor, and for your karakashada, for your rishada. For your grace and mercy and love and kindness and your goodness. We ask in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord. A special prayer for every big, everybody at Big Jesus Holy Bible Center Center. Sister Kimberly Ware. Little Samara, Lord. Amen. We speak to that body. We command that body to line up with your word again. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we command that thing to come out of a body. And that body be made whole right now. Now faith is a set of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. Lord, we can't see it, but we believe it. We stand on your word with your stripes. You say we are healed. With your blood we're cleansed. We sanctified it, and by your word we set apart. My God, my God, my God. Give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding concerning your word this afternoon, Lord. Heavens, God, that we don't have nothing to tell you, word, or take anything away from your word. But God, heavens are right and divided by your spirit and by your great power. We ask in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord. Pray for that backslider, that son of man, that woman, that child. That walk the street, no place to go, God. Give them a mind to want to be saved and a mind to want to stay saved. In Jesus' name we ask, oh God. And God, we'll thank you for it. I want to thank you for the strength that you gave this body, Lord, to do this. Amen. Rika, Shurukaida. Picture Jesus, Holy Bible, said, the Lord. Lord, and, and Iraka, my house, Lord. Next door, Lord. All three lots, Lord. Lord, you're awesome, God. I ain't going to work. Too great of a God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God, we pray for those God of, of coronavirus, uh, Omicron, uh, you. Proka, monkey uh, pots, Lord. Lord, have mercy on our souls in these lives and evil days, Lord. Handwriting is on the wall. Lord, forgive us of our sins, Lord. Help us to repent and come back to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God. Oh, Lord, have mercy in that White House, Lord, that they be saved. They rejoice because they got an abortion law in the past. Oh, but they don't know at the end who's going to win. Good and evil is fighting, Lord. They fight not there with one another. But good going to overcome it in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. And God will thank you for that, Lord. In Jesus' wonderful name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen and Amen. And the Democrats rejoicing because they, they won that abortion to kill the babies. Yeah. God don't sleep. How does he slumber? That's your abomination. That's it, Brother Joe. And to the Lord. He said innocent lives. Mm -hmm. And God is against that. If anybody asks you side of on, tell them on the Lord's side. And I'm not changing sides. Pastor, they are uh, the, the Republicans that voted. On that bill, it's, it's uh, you reap what you sow. There's some things happening in Congress that that you know, they're losing seats. They're you know they're it's it's not good. This is what I can talk to talk to someone that's in you know in politics, and uh, he was saying they, they that was they know now that was one of the worst things they could have done. You know now what? That was one of the worst things they could have done. Oh yeah, it's, it was yeah. political. It was political suicide basically. Yeah. You know? Not, not knowing, you know, because you got to deal with people now that, that put you in there. You didn't just get put in that position. 
you was voted in by people. That's right, the people and the, voted. And the people's gonna hold you accountable. Yeah. And it's happening. It's the repercussion of it because you you know certain things you just don't you, you know you don't touch. Well, the scripture says there's gonna come a time they're gonna change the laws and the time. That's, That's in the old just the day they change in the time daylight saving time. All right, they've been doing that. They changing the law of God, and they think their law going to oversee the law of God. Yeah. Well, at the end, they're going to find out they were they never but losers to begin with. Right. So I mother was going to lose this. It looked like they were winning, just like the devil. He thought he was winning against Jesus. Mm -hmm. What happened? He lost. He lost. On the third day, God raised him from the dead. Mm -hmm. Just by the time the devil thought he had Jesus, had him in hell. And the scripture said he threw off principalities and powers, made a show of them openly, triumphing over them. One man with the devil in hell. Lord, have mercy, God. I ain't going to worry about you, Brother John. I'm saying with the Lord. I already know what's coming down the pipeline. The word says it's going to happen. And it's happening. In the last day, there's going to be perilous times. Uh, we can see it. It's on everything, it's fulfilling itself. Lord, how mercy God. I ain't running with the evil. I ain't running with the wicked. Amen. So you're gonna have you're gonna have that battle going on between good and evil. Until the Lord destroy it completely. Come with me uh, to page 1449. Page 1449, 1 Peter, the fourth chapter, the 17th verse. Uh, clear direction to God's house. We gotta we got us a clear direction uh, to the house of God. Uh, that way I ain't fooling with them out there. I got I mean, a clear direction, and that's what we're going to be looking at. Let's go to 1 Peter 4 and 17. For the time has come that the judgment must begin at the what? House of God. House of God. It first began at us. What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God. So those that don't want to obey God's gospel, at the end, you're going to be lost. All that to know how you're going to end up. Yeah. So you want to run that way like you went in something because you won some votes, you ain't nothing but a loser. Well, they don't, if they don't accept God, they already love. They don't accept yeah. Jesus Christ. They yeah. already love. On the outside. I'm not running with them, Brother Joe. Not me, Brother John. 18 verse. And if the righteous what? Scarcely. Scarcely. They ain't going in with no flying colors. They gonna scarcely be saved. The righteous. Where shall the ungodly and the sinners appear? Oh, you will find out in this in, in going to God's house, you will find out where they gonna end up at. David said his foot almost slipped until he went into the house of the Lord. And he found out how they was going to end up. Because he was watching them getting by, having fun. Don't look like nothing was happening to them. Well, you got today, you got a lot of people like that. Don't look like nothing. Yeah, it's going to happen. It just ain't happening right now, but it will happen. And if the righteous scatters be saved, where should the ungodly and the sinners appear? 19 verse. Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of God count the keeping of their soul to him in well-doing. So if you suffer for what is right and you, you want to uh, fight against abortion, you know that's wrong, and you suffer for that, uh, the scripture says, Lord, have mercy, uh, commit thy soul into well-doing. Do what is well. The whole time you got to deal with this life. Do what is well as unto a faithful creator. We have to be faithful to God. Amen. And stand up for what is, what is right. Amen. If they win, the wrong win, and the right didn't win, guess what? The right will win. Lord, I bless you, God. I know the beginning, and I know how it's going to end up. Come with me now to Matthew 5 and 3. This is my job here, what I need to do. Page 1139. Page 11. Amen. 39. He gave me some instructions. Amen. What to do here? Because we're in the last days. 
And the Bible says they'll be calling good evil and evil good. They're calling that today. They call that good. Uh, I'm talking about the evil they do doing. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So your spirit is poor, it's hunger for God. It hunger and it thirsts after righteousness. It say you'll fill you up. So if my spirit is poor, want more of God, uh, mine is the kingdom, the kingdom of God belongs to me. Amen. Bless God. I'm on this I'm on the way to his house. I say I'm on the, I'm on the way because I got the scripture telling me. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Uh, sometimes you got to cry. Amen. So tears is not, uh, sometimes you have some tears of joy. You're just as happy as you can be. Mm -hmm. Lord, have mercy of God. <laughs> but it's not real tears of sadness, but it's tears of joy. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meat, for they shall inherit. That's the one that's going to inherit the, the meat. Mm -hmm. Not the bullets. Not the bullets. The meat is going to inherit the earth. Blessed are the day which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. So I'm blessed if I hunger for what is right. God righteousness, not man's righteousness, because he's, he's wrong as a two left shoe. Seven bride, blessed are the merciful, for she obtained mercy. So if you don't show no mercy, ain't no mercy going to come to you. Lord, help me to show mercy. Help me to forgive them. And help me to love them, Lord, because I can't do it without you. Blessed are they, blessed are the pure in heart, for they what? They shall be God. My heart got to be pure. Mm -hmm. Lord, because that's all I'm going to see, God. I got to have a clean heart and get rid of all that stuff out of my heart. If I got anything against you for doing that, Lord, get it out of my heart and help me to love them and forgive them. Blessed are the, blessed are the peacemakers, for they should be called the what? What about the peace breakers? The children of Satan. They're going to be the children of Satan, of the devil. So if you're a peace breaker, you're going to be the child of the devil. If you're a peacemaker, then you'll be a child of God. Ten bride, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness. Sake for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So you're going to be persecuted for doing right. But you're, the kingdom of heaven belongs to you. You're on, you're, on, you're, on, you're on the way to his house. Lord, have mercy God. Eleven bride, blessed are, are ye when men shall revile you, persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. They won't talk about you because you're doing right. Oh, uh, they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna talk well either of you. Rejoice and be exceedingly great, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which are before you. So there's a great reward. If I'm persecuted for doing what is right, what God says is right, not man. Man don't know what's right either. Left 13 by, you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savior, wherewith shall it be salted? It henceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and be trodden under the foot of man. So I'm, I'm the salt of the earth. Amen. So if I lose my salt, I won't have nothing else to be salted with. So what salts me? Is God's word. I stay salty. <laughs> oh, gee. I'm the salt of this earth when I'm walking in righteousness and holiness before God. You are the light of the world. A city that's set on a hill cannot be hid. Amen. So I got Jesus Christ in my life. He's that light. And as I continue following after him, amen, I know I can't get lost. Because he said, in my father's house, are many mansions. I'm going to prepare a place for you. For where I am, there you may be also. Oh, don't take no chance in getting lost. Follow Jesus. 
and you you make sure you get to that house. Neither do a man light a candle and put it under a bush, but on a candlestick, and they give it light in all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before man that they may see your good works and glorify who? Your Father, which is in heaven. He's going to get the glory because he's working through you. Amen. And he taught you, amen, his word. Amen. How to walk in the light. Also love. Love talks about walking in the light when you love. Amen. So you're walking in the light. I bless my arms said, hey, Lord. Think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to what? Fulfilled. What do you fulfill it with? The word. With the word. With love. You go feel the law. Your first focus commandments deal with God. Uh, first love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and then love your neighbor as you love yourself. The other six commandments deal with us. Amen. So if I walk in that love, amen, have completed and fulfilled God's commandment that Jesus Christ brought here on this earth for us to walk in, to live in. Lord, have mercy, God. And that's love. Then I, I'm fulfilling the law. For bear I send you till heaven and earth pass. Well, my God. One job, one tiller, shall no wise pass from the law till what? All be, All be fulfilled. God's word going to be fulfilled on this earth. Everything that he said going to happen, going to happen. It's got to come to pass. He said he's going to shorten the days. Because of his elect sake. Because no flesh is going to be able to be saved. But those that endure to the end, the same going to be saved. Lord, have mercy. I got to go all the way to the end if I'm going to get to the Father's house. I got to go all the way to the end with this. Amen. So I can make sure I get in. And I got some other scriptures to show me, amen, who's going to be in and who's going to be out. Come with me now to page 1170. <coughs> page 1170. Uh, that's Matthew 25 in 1. Uh, page 1170, Matthew 25 in 1. That's going to be in the book of Revelation. We ain't got that yet. Amen. Uh, then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened uh, unto ten virgins which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Five of them was wise, and five was what? Foolish. I won't run with the foolish, Lord. Give me the one with the five wise. They all was virgins. Uh, let's see what happened to them. Third, third verse. They that were foolish took they laughed and took no oil with them. Mm -hmm. For pride. But the wise took all in their vessels with their laps. Now the wise took the all. So our all is also the sign of the Holy Spirit. Uh, anointed, yoke destroyer, and the burden remover. Amen. Uh, the, the all is. So they took some oil with them to make sure that their lamp keep burning. Lord, have mercy, God. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. Six five. And at what? Midnight. So you don't know when he's going to come. Bible says he comes as a thief in the night. Just be ready. Amen. Have your, your lamp trimmed. And at midnight, there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom coming. Go ye out to meet him. Seven bird. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your all, for our lamps are gone out. Sometimes you got just enough for yourself. You should have been prepared for the coming. Yeah, amen. They bad. They bad. That's a good joke. Oh, my God. Uh, nine drive, but the wise answer saying, 
Not so. Uh -uh. We ain't giving y'all nothing at all. Does that be not enough? I may not have enough if I give you mine. Right. Yeah, you know, some people always want what you got. Sometimes you got just enough for yourself. Take care of your house first. Man works in the infidel don't take his own house. He trying to take care of everybody else's house but he. Enough for you, but go you rather to them and, and them that sell and buy for yourself. Yeah, go, go buy you. I got some money. Uh, ten vine. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they were ready, went in with him to the marriage, and the door was what? Shut. Oh, it's closed now. Too late. Too late. Some Christians are going to be too late. They Friday. Some of them want to go party, drinking out crazy. And if the Lord come on a Friday, mm -hmm. you're going to be too late to get in the house. As the word came also the other virgin saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you. Not. That's bad the Lord will tell you you don't know you. And you was you was a he was a virgin. But you didn't do right. Mm -hmm. Watch therefore, for you neither no, neither the day nor the hour where the Son of Man coming. He wants us to watch. That's another scripture say, watch and pray. He wants to be watching and praying. Watch our life. Amen. Watch what we do. Make sure we're living right. We're living holy to get in that house. Amen. Bless God. I'm talking about in the house of God. For the kingdom of heaven is as a traveling into a far country who called his own servant and delivered to them his good. And one he gave five talents to another two, to another one, to every according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. So God gave us all something to work with. God did what? Gave us something. He gave us all something to work with. Now it depends on what you're going to do with your words. Lord, have mercy God. Amen. Get a lot. Amen. Get a lot. Another hand clap for you. Amen. Straight and narrow. Uh, straight and narrow is a way. Let's look at uh, page 10. That's where I need to go. Let's see. Uh, straight and narrow. Uh, I might have to go to Matthews. Uh, is that 25? I got so much groceries here. Huh? Yeah. Straight and narrow. Okay, is that ten forty four? That can't be that. I didn't. I didn't uh, get my page number right on that one, and I don't see as Matthew's twenty five. Okay, we just finished that. Uh, okay, I needed to do some more studying in that. Uh, huh. Come to page 11, uh, 43. Page 11, 43. And we're going to go, we're going to continue going. Amen. And uh, as Matthew's the 7th chapter, the 13th verse. I uh, see I didn't go back and, and got the information I needed. Uh, Enter in, ye in in the straight gate. For wide is the gate, broad is the way. That's what I want. Thank you, Lord. That lead to destruction. And men of that be which go in better. So if you're on a wide road today, out there in that world, you're on the wrong road. It ain't gonna get you to heaven. You bust hell wide open on that road. Because it's straight and narrow. There ain't but a few folks on this road. Hey, uh, bless God. 15 bird, beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing. But ever they are raven wolves. You should know them by their what? By their fruits. Do man gather grapes of thorns or figs of thessin? Seventeen bride. Even so every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. So if you corrupt, that's what you're gonna bring forth. Uh, I used to be a corrupt tree. But Jesus. I said, but Jesus came in my life. 45 years ago, going on 46 now, and he changed me. 
I never thought about backsliding. Not me. I better know what it can do to you. So I ain't trying that. So even so, every good tree, 17 birds, bringing forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringing forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither do a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. So you can't bring forth something good to the evil. What I need to do, preacher, repent and right with God today, right now. And amen. Bless God. I ask the Lord to forgive you. Then Jesus Christ come back in your life and get back on the battlefield for the Lord. My God. Give the Lord another hand clap for the year. I say God's an awesome God. Thank God for that word. Amen. Bless God. God. Oh, I see. I went all the way to the end with that. A good tree cannot bring forth an evil fruit at 19 verse. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is horned down and cast into the fire. That's hell fire. <coughs> 20 verse. Wherefore by that fruit you shall know them. Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. So for me to get into the Father's house, I got to do the will of God. His will is his laws, his statutes, his commandments, his judgment. So as I learn that, I stay focused on that. Don't get turned to the right or to the left. Stay focused and stay on the straight and narrow. The Lord done told me what to do. Get to his house. Twenty-second verse. Many shall say unto me, in that day, as the last day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? We, Lord, we preach in your name. And in thy name cast out devils, Lord, you remember us? We cast some devils out. And in thy name done many wonderful works. You don't remember us? We did some good works. Twenty-third verse. And then when I profess it in my never knew you. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. <coughs> How bad when the Lord said you were doing some evil thing. Iniquity. You can't put evil with good. And why you always got a warfare going on. Good and evil. Good and evil. They're always going to be fighting with one another. Bless my own said here, Lord. <clears throat> Come with me now, and we're gonna we're gonna pick up, pick up some more fruits here. Let's go to Galatians five and fourteen. Galatians five, page thirteen eighty, page thirteen eighty, and this is gonna give us a little bit clearer direction to the Father's house. Amen. How to get there? Everybody need to go, Lord. Ah, oh, that's five and fourteen. So that's Second Corinthians. Let's see. Oh Lord, I I just you I had all this closest together. Amen. That's thirteen eighty. That give me. I need to go to Galatians five and fourteen. So they ain't gonna give me what I'm looking for. So I gotta keep going forward. And it's uh, 1388, page 1388. I'm going to change that, amen, bless God, on my uh, deal here. And I can pick up the rest of it because I see some more groceries I need to change. Amen, Galatians 5 and 14. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Now notice, this is Paul's writing to the Galatian church. And he only dealing now with the six commandments that we under as individual. Now notice you don't have the uh, first four commandments, Paul. Paul don't have that in his writing. So he says that all fulfill uh, shall love thy neighbor as thyself. Well, you gotta love God too. That's the yeah, only way you can love your neighbor or yourself. Huh? The only way you can love your neighbor or yourself is to have love God. Yeah, you got you to be loved first. Yeah. 
And then when you love him first, then you're right, Brother John. And then all the others can just fall into place. So we know that Paul didn't put that in that right. But you need to put it in. Because you know, amen, what you need to do. Amen. It gets to his house. 15 bride. But if you bite and devour one another, take heed that you be not consumed one another. So if I'm arguing and fussing and cussing with you, we're going to destroy one another. The flesh is going to do that. Uh, you're going to destroy, and you're going, to, you're going to the wrong house. 16 verse. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and you should not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. These are contrary one to another, so you cannot do the thing that you would. So we're not all spirit, and we're not all flesh. So that's why you have a conflict between flesh and spirit. But you, you have enough knowledge to know how to get to the Father's house and whip the devil while you on your way. Amen. Whip that flesh. But if you're led by the spirit, you're not under the law. <clears throat> so you didn't break the law as long as you operate in the, in the spirit. But the works of the flesh are manifest as a deed. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, Hatred, vanity, immolation, wrath, strife, sedition, hearses, envy, murder, and drunken reverence, and such a like which I have told you before, as I have told you in the time past, that they that do such things shall what? Not inherit. You can't get to the Father's house. You can't get in his kingdom if you're operating in his flesh. It ain't hard. Man just ain't giving it all to you. He gives it some smooth stuff. But if the fruit of the Spirit, the love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such the as on the law. And there they are in Christ at what? Crucified. Them. So Christ will help us crucify this. You can't crucify your flesh of yourself. It ain't going to work. A lot of people try that. They ain't got enough knowledge to know they can't do it. So we have to have Christ to do it. Amen. 25th verse. If you live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desires of vain girl, provoking one another, envying one another. We can't envy one another or provoke one another. We have to do it in love, in meekness, and kindness, and gentleness. Amen. And long suffering, putting up with folks in love. Oh, it's good life. I like this life. It's good life. Amen. I know, what, especially when I know what to do, how to get to the Father's app. I'm on my way. Come in to page 1457. Page 1457. That's be First John, the fourth chapter, the fourth verse. Ye are of God, let the children, and have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So we overcome us because a greater one lives in us. That's how we overcome. Say, greater is he that is in you. That's God in you. He's greater than the devil. Lord, that blessed God. So I thank God we could be an overcomer. Now, there's another scripture says that we're more than conquerors. More than a conqueror. We're not just a conqueror. That's in Romans. As in Romans, the eighth chapter. Yeah. So we can conquer everything that come against us. Amen. Lord, that's my own chapter here. Yeah. So since I got ways to conquer that, I can conquer through Jesus Christ. Well, I can conquer through Jesus Christ. That's good, that's good to know that I can conquer these things. They don't conquer me. They would more than a conquer. They have the world, therefore speak they of the world of the world, and the world hear them. Give the Lord a hand clap for the mood of the family being out. Thank God for it. We're on page 1457, Sister Melody, and we're dealing with a clear direction to God's house. A clear direction. We got the word of God. They're going to give us that clear direction. So now, amen, bless God. Six five. Ye of God, and he that knoweth God, hear us. And he that is not of God, hear, uh, hear not us, 
Hereby we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. So when you operating in God, you have to try the spirit by the spirit. Get a lot of hand copy, brother. Thank God for Well, I'm praying 1457, a clear direction of God's house. Seven verse. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. So it's when I love, then I know I'm born of God. What if I don't love who I'm born of? I'm born of the, of the devil, of Satan. That's why you're going, I'm, we're going to give you another scripture, amen, to know the children of God and the children of the devil. Look at 1 John, the third chapter, the 10th verse. Let's go to the ninth verse. Oh, let's go to the 8th verse. Oh, let's go to the seventh verse. First John. I'm getting, I'm getting more grocery. First John. Uh, first John, the third chapter, the seventh verse. We just give you a little bit more groceries. Amen. To know who is the children of God and who is the children of the devil. Let, a, let the children let no man deceive you. How many mean? No. So you can be deceived with the word of God. They can they can take people can take the word of God and deceive you with it. He that doeth righteous. Is righteous, even as he is righteous. So I can't be deceived because God is righteous. So that's the way I'm going to be. I'm going to be righteous. A verse. He that committed sin is of the what? Devil. So whenever I'm sinning, amen, that's who I'm, 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 I'm fooling with. I'm fooling with the devil. The word that told me who, who's in my life. Amen. Sin in the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested in my what? Destroy the works of the devil. So you got to pray and ask Jesus to destroy the devil works in your life. That's what I did. I prayed. I said, Lord Jesus, pray for me. And destroy the devil works. You came. You was manifested to destroy his works. So I pray that prayer. Amen. Bless God. Because I want to be free. I want to make sure I get into the, into the kingdom of God. I want to make sure I get into my father's house. Amen. Lord, have mercy God. Look at ninth verse. Who said was born of God do what? Do not commit sin. Well, wait a minute. How come I'm sinning? Because you're not his child. No, no. <laughs> you're not God's child for sin. And I'm not what? You're not God's child. I'm not God's child. That's it, Brother John. And you're going to find that in the scripture with Brother John just said. You got the word of God to back him up. Who said was born of God do not uh, commit sin? For his seed remained in him, he cannot sin because he is born of God. So when I'm sinning, I'm serving the devil. When I don't sin, I'm serving God. And that's how I know I got God, amen, in my life. It's who I'm serving. Look at that 10 verse. And this is the children of God are manifest. And the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God. Neither he that loveth not his brother. So I got to love. A money, a, a command. I got to just love some people? No, I got to love all people. I love everybody. So I wanted a command. So I needed God to help me to love like that. And now I got, amen, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen, and the Word of God to help me. Amen. Come with me now to uh, 1 John, the fourth chapter. And uh, we're going to go to that eighth verse. He that loveth not, nor not God, for God is love. You don't know God if you, know, if you can't love. I know you live feelings, emotion running everywhere. Somebody that hurt you, hurt you. Oh, uh, you got everybody. Do everybody have feelings and emotions? Mm -hmm. They all got that stuff. God got feelings and emotions. You know God has feelings and emotions? Mm -hmm. Hey, he got feelings and emotions too, but he'll, he'll consume and fire. He'll take you out. Uh, you want to rub him the wrong way. <laughs> Night pride. And this is manifest the love of God toward us because that God sent his only begotten son in the world that he might live through him. So God sent his son so I can live through him. Amen. Bless God. I got a way out now. He in his love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be propitiation of, propitiation of our sin. He loved us first. God did. Mm -hmm. While we're yet in sin. 
Jesus died. God sent his son while we were yet in what? In sin. He showed his love. He proved his love. Eleven drive. Love, beloved, if God so love us, we ought also to what? Love one another. So I got to keep that in mind. Since God loved me, I got to love the same way that God loved me. You have to think about it. You have to love that person the same way God loved you. No man has seen God at any time. If you love one another, God's one in us, and his love is what? Perfected. Perfected in us. Y'all be praying for me because I want to I wanna write and divide this love uh, situation here. You know, <laughs> uh, should you love the devil? Why not? I would say hate evil. Clean to that which is good. You don't love the devil. Y'all want me to say that again? You got it? You don't love the devil. He's evil. You'll fool around and mess you up. Fall in love with him. <laughs> you know, that was a question I prayed and asked God to help me deal with the people that, that continually come up against me. And Scripture that Matthew 5 is 44, love your enemies, love those, you know what I'm saying, that persecute you. Um, so loving them is one thing, but you answered the question about can't love the devil. Because my thing was they are evil, they're my enemies. Yeah. yeah. And God, you want me to continue to love them and they continue to come at me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the people. That's what God, he want me. Uh, that's the people he, he talking want me to about. Love he ain't talking about the devil. Well, you answered the question. Yeah, that answered it. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. That's why you're going to need God to do that. I thought the same thing you said. You had to straighten me out. I said, love your enemies. You said, I'm about to say it another day. Yeah. Love your enemies. Yeah, too much. You know, not the real enemy. Yeah, he's talking he talk about the people. people. Yeah, now the devil's your enemy too. Yes. But you hate evil. The Bible tells you to hate evil and cling to that which is good. good. So you have to rightly divide that part. You have to have knowledge to know how to do it. Amen. What God, amen, is against. So I'm not going to love the devil because he ain't, he, 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 no, how much you got. You got some people who love the devil. Damn. I asked uh, Samson uh, uh, when he fell in love with Delilah. Yeah, she, they, they betrayed him. He loved uh, him. She could, she, she, she tried to kill him three times. He didn't snap. That love was blind. I don't want to love that much. I, I, I can't see you trying to kill me. Then she got it. Then they put his eyes up. Then they, but they didn't notice the star was doing the back. Yeah. Hey Amen. So y'all be praying for me. I want, to, I want to work on that message. Hey Amen. You don't love the devil. You hate evil. Clean to that which is good. Hey Amen. Uh, ninth verse. And this was manifest the love of God toward us. Because as God sent his only begotten son in the world that he might uh, live through him. Ten verse. Here in his love, not that we love God, but that he loves us and sent his son to be for perpetuation for our sin. Eleven verse. Beloved, if God so love us, we ought to love one another. No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelling in us and his love is what? Perfect. And uh, perfected. His love become perfected enough when we love. He'll perfect it. God will. He'll, he'll take that in purge where you can love more. But he wants us to do our part to love. Lord, have mercy, God. So I pray and ask God to help me to love. Herman can't love. He can't love. Not, not like this. Uh, look at 13 verse. Here, here you know that we dwell in him and he in us. Because as he has given us of his of his spirit. 14 verse. We have seen and do testify that the Father sent his Son to be the Savior of the world. 15 verse. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him, and he in God. That's how you know that that person has God in when they make a confession that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Your confession, your word, come out your mouth. Amen. Let you know who's in you. 
Now, there's an antichrist that's got some people deny Christ. That's what you call an antichrist. Amen. So you know when that person denied Christ, they're under that category of an antichrist. I ain't running with them antichrist. I'm going to run with those that are full of some Jesus. Right, have mercy, God. Separate myself from the rest of that stamp in Jesus' name. And I'm blessed myself here, Lord. 16 Brian. And we have known and believed. Give the Lord a hand clap, man, for his love. The love that God had to us. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and in God in him. In is our love made perfect, that we may be have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. Full of love. Eternal love. Uh, Eternal love. Eternal love. Ain't no end. 18 verse. There's no what? Yeah. Fear and love. But perfect love casts out fear, because fear had torment. He that feared is not made perfect in love. So I, if I love, I don't have a fear of you. If I love you. Oh. If I don't love you, I'm scared of you. But God didn't give me the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power, of love, and a sound mind. Only fear should I have is of God. Anything apart from that, a people, fear near, I don't fear people. Ain't no way. I'm going to feel a person because their life ain't nothing but a vapor. Come on. Life ain't nothing but a what? Right. A vapor. Nineteen bride. We love him because he first loved us. If a man say I love God and hate his brother, he's a what? Liar. Hey, he ain't telling the truth. Hypocrite. Yeah, yeah, that's it, brother. Let's go. You're a hypocrite. Amen. Hypocrite ain't going in the kingdom of heaven. Amen. You ain't gonna go in the father's house. <laughs> For he that loveth not his brother whom he had seen, how can he love God whom he had not seen? You don't see God, you see your brother every day. And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God loveth his brother also. So if you love God, you're going to love your brother because the love of God is going to be in you. It's going to flow in you. His love will. Amen. Bless God. Amen. Give the Lord, amen, another hand clap for the years. God is an awesome God. Come with me to Revelation 22 and 14. Revelation 22 and 14. Blessed are they that do his commandment, that they might have the what? That they might have the right to the tree of life. It's telling you how you're going to have the right to the tree of life by keeping his commandment. So I know I got the right to the tree of life. I know, amen, bless God. And uh, now watch, watch, this, watch, watch the other side of it. And, and ye may enter through the gates into the city. So I can enter into my father's house through the gate of that city because I'm keeping this command. That's up, man. Let, let you know who's going to be in the gate. Watch who's going to be on the outside of the gate. Then the scripture gives you who's going to be on the outside the gate. For without a dogs, as it was on the outside of the gate, sorcery, uh, them folks fooling around with them devils out there, uh, Ouija boards, horoscopes, uh, psychic hotline they get, and they tell you you're going to psych you out, and you're going to give them all that money so they can psych you? Oh, yeah, I ain't too sharp about that. Sorcery and whoremongers, Lord have mercy God, fooling around with whores, Lord have mercy Jesus, murderers, idolatry, whosoever loveth and making a lie, that's an owl. Uh, there's another scripture that talks about making a lie. When you make a lie, you, you, you uh, make an owl to pray to that vine. And you, you talk to it and it, it, it can't talk back. And it got ears to hear and can't hear nothing. Got eyes to see and it can't see nothing. And you take it and you clean it up when it gets dirty. I don't need no God like that. I ain't playing with that. I ain't playing that little bit of God. And man, 
you talking about there's a just a reminder. No, you don't listen to man. Man lying tell you. You got some false prophets and teachers out there. And the Bible says many of them. They ain't but a, it ain't said a few of them. It's many. So I, okay, so if I gotta know many false prophets and teachers, I gotta know the word of God. Amen. And teach me how you make a lie. That's the image. That's a lie. And bless my own self here, Lord. Amen. Give the Lord, amen, another hand clap for you. God's an awesome God. Amen. Thank God for the word. Amen. Come over to page 862. Page 862. Page 862. That's going to be Isaiah 35 and 8. Isaiah 35 and 8. Page 862. And the highway shall be there in a way, and it shall be called the way of what? Holy. So he's telling you how to get to the Father's house is, is in holiness. You can't get there no other way. The unclean should not pass over it. The unclean can't get on this highway. The only one that's living holy. But it shall be for those the wayfaring man, the fool should not err therein. A fool can't get on this highway. He got to be a wise man. It's a crooked highway. Uh, a crooked highway. There's a crooked highway a fool on. Uh, that wild goes into destruction highway. I ain't getting on that road with him, Brother Joe. Not me. Uh, Y'all want to walk on that crooked one? Go ahead. I'm going on the highway of holiness. I know I'm going to the Father's house. Ninth verse. No lion shall be there, nor any raven beast shall go on up thereon. It shall not be found there. But the what? The redeemed. Shall walk there. Who is the redeemed? Me. As us. Who redeemed? Jesus. Jesus redeemed us with his blood. I know I'm on the right highway. Hey, ain't getting off. Get a lot of hands out. It's good when you know you're on the, on the right road. Oh, my God. I'm on the right road now. And I ain't getting on for nobody. Oh, uh, my God. Oh, I'm, I'm going for eternity. Eternity is better. Come with me to page uh, 1435. Page 1435. Page 1435, that's going to be Hebrews 10 and 25. Hebrews 10 and 25. Not forsaken assembly of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exalting one another, and so much the more as you see that they approach. Now, you got some people say you don't have to go to church to be saved. Well, that ain't what the scripture said. Say, don't forsake yourself together. As some already did. Mm -hmm. uh, the Bible says there's going to be a great falling away. Mm -hmm. You can see in the churches now that they are falling away. Yeah. A great falling away, the script called it. No, I hear more people more on the law on the law on, on money. More what? More than you on, 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 on Sunday day. Yeah. They don't want to go to the house of God. Nice, and they talk about they're going to end up in this house. Yeah, on Sunday morning, y'all, on Sunday. Yeah, and once saved, always saved. They lost as cool as brown out there. <laughs> They're on the wrong highway. Uh, we don't cut no yards on Sundays over here. We do. We, we cut it on a, on a Friday or Thursday. I cut it Thursday, then I came out here today and trimmed trim the yard on a Friday. Yeah, so I can be ready for the weekend. Is that me what? Ready for the weekend. Love, have mercy, God. <laughs> I don't, that's all I'm saying here, Lord. So I won't forsake the assembly on the Sunday and cut the yard. Get a lot of hands out for you. <laughs> it's good when you got the word and you ain't going to fall in that trap. I hear you. You ain't going to fall in that trap. Amen. Come with me now to 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. This is Paul's writing. 
amen, to the Corinthians church. And uh, 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Know you not that the unrighteous should not inherit the kingdom of God? You ain't got that knowledge? Uh, they ain't on the highway of holiness, unrighteousness. Be ye not deceived. Don't, 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 don't deceive yourself. Thinking you're all right when you're wrong. There's two left shoes. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor infinite, or abusing himself with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkenness, or reverends, or extraordinary, shall inherit the kingdom of God. I can't inherit God's kingdom and talk about I'm on the way to God's house when the scripture I really told me is a way of holiness. It's doing what is right. Keeping the commandments, laws and statutes, loving you, forgiving you. No matter what you do to my little feelings and emotions, no matter how it's running everywhere, amen, bless God, put it under subjection. You need to put your feelings and emotions under subjection. Amen. Bless God. My brother John Barry always said, put it in your pocket. Amen. I'm going to make sure I kill mine. I don't want it in my pocket, brother John. I don't keep no, I don't want it nowhere around me. I said, I don't want my feelings and emotions nowhere. Stay out your feelings. Stay out of me. He said, stay out them feelings. Yeah, you got to stay out of them. Ask the Lord to hit you. Yep. Ask who? And the Lord. Ask the Lord to hit you to stay out them feelings. Because you can't do that by yourself. Amen. Bless God. Get you some Jesus. Yeah. Amen. So you can stay on the highway of holiness. Amen. Whenever I bring a message like this, amen, my soul, and my soul will be happy. Yeah. And I go home to sleep, I sleep like a baby. Amen. Yeah. I got washed in the word. The word of God cleaned me up. Yeah. Cleaned my mind up, my thoughts up. Yeah. And then, bless God, to let me know, amen, how to stay on that highway of holiness. Lord, have mercy, God. Amen. With the unclean, he can't go down there. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Come with me now to Ephesians 5 and 2. Amen. Ephesians, amen, 5 and 2. Let's see what we got in Ephesians 5 and 2. That's page 1394. Page 1394. And walk in love as Christ also hath loved us and has given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling Savior. Mm -hmm. For what? A sweet smelling, sweet -smelling Savior. <laughs> Jesus Christ is a sweet smelling Savior. Lord, have mercy. But fornication, all uncleanness, or covetousness, let it not be once named among you becoming what? It's saints. On the side of say, uh, come and grow with us. You have to come to become. Yeah. When you come to Jesus, then he'll take you, amen, and bless God, help you to become a saint. Yeah. Was we a saint before? No. No, no we weren't no saint. No. no. Oh, the of the wrong. devil. Yeah. We weren't no saint. Yeah. So, <laughs> so the scripture talk about it. As becoming the saint. And in that third verse, as becoming one. Fourth verse, neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor justice, which are not convenient, but rather given the thanks. Fifth verse, for this we know that no homemonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man, who is an idolater, had any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. This is Paul writing to the Ephesian church, he wrote to the Galatian church. He wrote to the Christian church, let the folks know we ain't going in to God's house. And I bless myself here, Lord. Night for let no man deceive you. How many men? No. Yeah, you can be deceived by man. With vain words, they, they talk empty stuff. It sound good, but it ain't about nothing. Because of this, Coming the wrath of God upon the children of what? Of disobedience. God's wrath going to come on the children of disobedience. Listen to man with his smooth talk. 
Is what? Smooth. It's smooth talk. Something you want to hear. Huh? It's something you want to hear. It's smooth talking to you. Yeah, you want to And then living the sin. <laughs> he ain't changed nothing but a joke. <laughs> he, he think you're on the highway of holiness. Living like that. He ain't on the highway of holiness. Stop saying that. Uh, it's a stop sign on how we hold it. As a stop sign? Stop yeah, stop and do right. <laughs> stop and what? Yeah. Before you proceed, you you yourself to righteousness. Amen. That's a yield sign, Brother Joe. As a stop sign, say stop. What you get better to do? Stop. You want to check it out before you do it. Make sure it's holding it. If they ain't holding this, kick it to the curb and let it know that you don't want it. So be therefore, uh, be ye not therefore partakers with them. So he told me don't, don't, don't be partakers with them. Uh, they go in the wrong direction. Eight five, for ye were sometime darkened. Darkness. I was sometime walking in the darkness, but now you are the Light in the Lord walk as children of light. <coughs> so I have to walk in love. For the fruit of the Spirit is all goodness and righteousness and truth. That's when I know I oper operate in the fruit of the Spirit. It's goodness. It's righteousness. And it's truth. Jesus Christ, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Now I know I'm going in the right direction when I follow Jesus. Because he is the way to the Father's house. Amen. Bless God. He is the truth. Look at that tent ride. Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. So I got to prove what, 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 what God accepts. I got to prove that in my life. And they have no fellowship with the unfruitful workers of darkness, but rather what? Reprove them. He told them to reprove them, to correct them. Let them know that they're doing wrong. Twelve right. It is a shame even to speak of those things that are done of them in secret. Oh, don't, you, don't even talk about what they've been doing. Thirteen right. But all the things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For who, whatsoever does make it manifest is life. So when you correct a, a Christian, amen, they want to do right. What happens if you correct a Christian that don't want to do right? What are they going to tell you? They're going to buck you. They're going to buck you. Gonna buck you, buck you like hey, you find a Christian that don't want to do right and you correct him, oh, he's going to buck you. And he ain't going to like you. And you hurt his little flesh. For the same even uh, speak of those things which are done and then in secret. Thirteen bride. But all things are, manif are made manifest. Uh, Reprove or made manifest by the light, for whatsoever do it, make it manifest as light. Look at the 14th verse. Wherefore he said, Awake, thou that sleepest, and it rise from the dead. And Christ is going to do you what? He'll be light. He's going to give you some light. He's going to give you to rise from that dead sinner's death. The wages of sinner's death. So when you arrive from operating in your sense of life, amen, and come to Jesus Christ, let him clean you up. Amen. And get on a highway of holiness. And stay on that highway. Don't exit. Don't what? Don't exit. Don't exit. Don't take no exercise. I'm talking about I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull off a little while and go check this out. Better leave that alone. Today is Friday. Leave that alone. Don't exit. Stay on the highway of holiness and pass up all the nightclubs. Oh, what kind of club? Nice. That's darkness. Uh oh, we're not out of the word. Hey man, we're we to run out of time again. Thank you, Brother John, for taking care of that. Give the Lord a hand clap. Amen. That we're on the highway of holiness. Thank you, Lord, for that highway. Thank you, Jesus.